hello everyone welcome to the explanation so in last video we completed the, the topic 1.1 and 1.2 from c programming syllabus so as you can see this is our website so here we can see the syllabus so last time we covered 1.1 1.2 so in today's video i'll be covering 1.3 that is general software features and vision trends okay so this comes under chapter one so in the same site you can see we have notes of c programming so i have I'm covering this topic from same notes as as this is theory part so I'll be discussing from the same note okay so 1.3 that is general software features and recent trends so this question is important and this can be asked for two to four mark sorry four to six marks and this has been asked in year 71 69 and previous years so as talking about features of you know software or features of some good programming languages so it should be first feature is portability okay so what is portability so any program that you are writing it should be supported by many computers so the program that you are that you have written so it should be compiled and run smoothly on different platforms it means next feature is maintainability so it is the process of fixing program errors and improving the program it means that if you have written any program and if there is chances of improving that program by doing certain changes so it should be easier for us to do that particular changes okay it means that we, we, we should be able to fix the errors and improve the programs next is efficient so what is efficient so any program it should take less space okay less space means in the terms of memory it should take less memory space and it should easily be converted into machine language so that is called efficient next is reliable okay so what is reliable reliable means that a user whatever a user wants that program to do that program should should do the same thing it means that the user's actual needs will change from time to time so the program is said to be reliable if it works smoothly in every version it means that whatever we want that program should do that particular task next is machine independent it means that a program should never depend on machine so a program written a program that is executing in one machine so it should also be executing some other machine it should not be machine dependent so that means machine independency next is cost effectiveness so what is cost effectiveness any software you are developing or any program you are writing so it should be uh, feasible for human in the terms of cost okay so cost effectiveness is the key measures of program quality cost must be measured over the life of program and must include both cost and human cost of producing these programs next is flexibility so what is flexibility it should be easier for us to add new features without changing the existing program it means that if you want to add some features to a program it should be easy for us interoperability so what is interoperability it means that this software or this program should be able to exchange information with some other applications it means that working with helping each other okay interoperability it means that other applications should also exchange information with that particular software next is correctness so it is obvious it is one of the most important feature our program should correct reusability it means that any software that we are developing any program that we are writing so the users should be able to reuse it it means that if you are using in one program one purpose we, we should be able to re reuse it for some other similar purposes okay so you can see here the software can be called reusable if the user will have ability to use the software code with some modification for different purpose okay so it is one of the feature next is one of the most important feature that is security okay so security means that it should be secure because we are interacting over internet so it's it should not uh, hamper the user's data it should keep the it should keep the uh, user's data safely okay out of threat next topic is some software trends some software recent trends so this question has been asked uh, i think one or two times so it can also be asked for four to six marks and for recent trends you have to write the trends like from 2018 to above like 2018 19 20 21 22 so some trends i think you all of you know about the trends so some of the recent recent trends you can see are iot that is internet of things blockchain deep learning machine learning neural network and other different trends are there for example virtual reality ai okay cyber security cloud computing big data so many of them are available in market so 
this will be your assignment so please search for these topics because it's very useful if you study these topics yourself and if you if you want us to make any video related to these topics please let us know in comment box and do like and subscribe our video thank you so in next uh video i'll be covering uh 1.4 and 1.5 till then stay safe thank you